Okay, so today we are going to have a quick look at a piece of software called OpenTrack and a mobile app called SmoothTrack. So, what is SmoothTrack? I'm going to show you the adver advertisement sorry, for the Android version of SmoothTrack. It's about £10, I think. I already own it, so there's no price being shown to you. Um, it's very very good. All it does, you can see on the little screenshots here, if we zoom, oops, if I try and zoom in on them, you prop your phone on your desk and the camera on your phone looks at your face and figures out where you are looking. It then broadcasts that across the Wi-Fi in your room to your computer, so you have to put the IP address of your computer into the little app. So to do that you do that via the command prompt, it gives you instructions of how to do it anyway. But then you run a program called OpenTrack, which I have running here. So we've got OpenTrack is already running. Now as soon as I start SmoothTrack, it will start receiving. Now I start OpenTrack as well, and there you go, look what's happening to Flight Simulator. So if I move around now and look around with my head, I can look around the cockpit. Not only that, I can lean forwards, I can lean back. So this is taking advantage of, I mean it's a bit jittery at the moment, it smooths out after a minute or two. This is taking advantage of the head tracking in your phone. So the exact same technology that is used uh, for things like Snapchat and Instagram to be able to put you know silly hats on you and moustaches and all the rest of it can be used with this. But of course it allows you to look around the cockpit freely and you can lean over and you can look at the instruments. It's a bit jittery at the moment. It's because I'm in quite a dim room. I haven't got much daylight. So the picture on the phone isn't very sharp. So obviously the, be the better light you've got in the room, the better this is going to work. But it's quite cool because you can do things like standing up. And if I stand up, I put my head through the roof of the aeroplane. <laughs> and by the same token, I can lean out of the window. So particularly for planes where they've got you know reduced visibility you can just lean sideways to see where you're going but again looking through looking around the cockpit is this means I'm not using my hands to look around so I can keep my hands on my throttle and stick and be looking around the cockpit obviously I can reach across and grab the mouse if I need to but otherwise it gives you the ability to look around in the same way that track IR works except all you've spent is £10. Yeah, for the mobile app. And OK, it's a little bit jittery. It's not going to be as sharp in low light as Track IR would be in all conditions. But if you do this with a, a half-decent phone, with a half-decent camera pointing at you, and, you know, maybe your phone is good in low light, but I, unfortunately while I'm recording this, it's quite dark outside already. You can see now I'm on live weather and the sun's going down. So, um, yeah. So this is SmoothTrack and OpenTrack. So SmoothTrack is the mobile app that watches your face and then it connects to OpenTrack in the computer which you can see it running here. So you can see as I tilt my head it tilts that octopus around so you get to see what it's, what it's figuring out about where I'm looking. But then that connects straight to Flight Simulator and it just works. And it's absolutely brilliant. So if you look in the options in uh, OpenTrack, you can see how it's connecting. So center at startup. Um, there should be some options in here about game detection. I think it out of the box it automatically you know uses Sim Connect, but it's it's very very good, and it just works. So yeah, so then you can get on with your aeroplane flights and you can look around the cockpit and make yourself feel really, really seasick. And if you really want to, you can kind of look, you know, very closely at the gauges and look at the three-dimensional cockpit. It's quite stunning, really. So yeah, if you've ever wondered how people do this on a budget, this is how they do it. So for £10 outlay, you can put smooth track on your phone, install open track, and you can look around the cockpit in Flight Simulator you can actually look backwards if you know you know if you're if you've got a twisty enough neck <laughs> you can do that okay anyway i'm going to leave it there it was a very very quick look at smooth track and open track with microsoft flight simulator hopefully 
you found this useful and it's only 10 pounds if you want to give it a shot and it's just you know something else to play with it probably works best with the planes that aren't too complicated so if you just want to fly around and have a bit better experience obviously the bigger monitor you've got the better this is going to work because <coughs> you're faking you know a headset in a way so that's this is what track ir does isn't it so there you go smooth track and open track and i'll stop waffling now